on today's daily sprint, we're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today, I want to teach you something that I learned re of several years ago from Robert Kawasaki. First book I read was Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and then I read Unfair Advantages. And he makes a super good point in both of these books that I call the law of mitigation or the law of having your cake and eating it too. So let me take you through this concept because we tend to be black and white. We tend to say, well, if I wanna have good fitness, then I can't do any of this black and white. If I wanna have fun, then I gotta wait till I have a bunch of money to go on vacation to have fun or whatever it is. It's always black and white. And what Robert Kawasaki does through this law of mitigation is teaches a different concept. So let me talk you through three areas of my life that I've used this law of mitigation. So first is cake. I wanted to, we lived in downtown and we went out a lot and we're just going to say cake. Maybe your cake is peanut butter, maybe it's wings, maybe it's pizza, maybe it's bourbon, whatever it is. I wanted to eat copious amounts of cake and also have abs. Okay, so those two things typically most people don't go together. So what I had to do is come up with that X factor to mitigate the negative effects of the cake. So what I did to mitigate, still be able to eat cake and have the abs, is I added a 15 minute run every single day and I managed calories. What's also cool is I did blood work during this time and my blood work actually improved. <laughs> so you could Google the cake stud, or I'm, I'm sorry, the, um, what are those things called? Tw um, what are those things called? Twinkie. Google the Twinkie study. There's a dude that ate in a calorie deficit just eating Twinkies and improved his uh, all markers of fitness. Pretty crazy. But anyway, so that was the, the X factor. That was the mitigation. Next thing is faith. When we moved to Florida, our, we, were, we, we are always, we're growing in our faith, but we didn't have a church family out in Florida. So it's like, well, wait, how can we be away from our church family for six months and still grow our faith? We had to think of an X factor. So our X factor is we decided to take uh, on more commitments online from our church here in Indy. So we picked up kind of like a leadership role online. Uh, we started volunteering for more online services and we led an online small group. So even though we couldn't attend the church physically, we also put it in our schedule to come back occasionally physically. So to fly from Florida to here to go to our church physically. So that mitigated. We basically 3 x our involvement with the online component, component in the church so that it would mitigate us not being there in the present. Okay. So that would be how we mitigated the fact that we weren't going to be able to show up the church. Lastly, fun. My mom or my dad used to say, no mun, no fun. You know, if you don't got no money, you can't have no fun. And this was a good law of mitigation. Erico did not like the cold. Okay, she wanted to live in Florida. That's during the cold months here in India. And that, that was it. And I'm like, okay, well, it is what it is. You know, we're not, I mean, we can wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll scrounge up, scrounge up some nuts and go buy a place in Florida. That wasn't good enough for her. So what she did, what her X factor is, is exactly what Robert Kawasaki talks about. She went and bought a property, Airbnb, our property here in Indy, which paid for the property over there. And then Airbnb, that property when we're back here, which is then paying for the property over here. So the net loss was zero. That is a perfect example in your finances of the law of mitigation. So I'd love to hear in the comments how you would like to maybe mitigate some things in your life. You can absolutely um, take Robert Kawasaki's advice and have your cake and eat it too. Three perfect examples of how this has uh, worked out in my life. So you don't have to say no. You don't have to say I can't afford. I have to wait for this. You can have your cake and eat it too. Eat it now right here today. Love to hear your comments in the uh, comment section. You have a great growth driven rest of your day.